I want you to stop using git add dot. It sets you up for failure. I want to set you up for success with patch adding. Patch adding is when you use git add dash p or git commit dash p in order to ask git to prompt you about all of the changes that you've made to your tracked files. When you're prompted in this way, you can choose if you want to add it to the commit, exclude it from the commit, or even edit exactly what goes into the commit. Let's take a look at an example. I want to add two changes to my website today. The ability to manually configure what goes into my excerpts and a new blog post about patch adding that you're going to see linked in the description below. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hop in here and I'm going to type git status and this is going to give me an idea of what all my changes are. Now, if I were to use git add dot at this moment, every single change that you see listed here would be immediately staged to be committed. And that's obviously not what I want. I just want two things. I want my excerpts and I want my blog post because those are the changes that are actually ready to go. When I do a patch add, it's going to ask me about all of these tracked files and the changes that are in them. It's not going to ask me about untracked files. This is actually a good thing. You could have editor configs, you could have misnamed files. There are all sorts of reasons that you may not want to be checking every single untracked file every time you're working on your uh, commits. However, what this also means is that you have to manually add any untracked files that you want. So in our case, it's going to be posts and we're just going to say git add and then that specific post. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to manually add the assets that I want. Uh, in this case, I'm going to add the entire folder at once. This is a really neat feature of git add that allows you to kind of circumvent individually adding every single file. And it's actually the one that you're using when you use git add dot. Get add dot isn't some sort of special git command. You're just saying, I want to add everything in the current directory to git, and it's only adding the changes that you have in that current directory. This means if you call git add dot from a subdirectory, you may not get the results you were hoping for. Now, we've added our untracked files, which means it's time to work with our patch adding. So we're going to do git commit dash pm. Then I've got my commit message here, add excerpts and patch add blog post. And then we're going to go through here and we're going to look at all of these hunks and decide whether or not we want to add them to our commit. Now, in this case, we've got this JSON that's in our gem file. I'm going to say no to that one because I don't want that. And in fact, I don't want anything from this file. So I'm going to use D to say, don't ask me about anything else from this file. I'm going to say no. This is like a little readme update to like leave me a note on how to use it. Uh, this one I actually do want because it has to do with our excerpt changes. This didn't work, so I'm going to say in for no on that one, in for no on this one too. I do want this one, so I'm going to do Y for yes. Um, so this one I actually do want because it's got the more, but I also left myself a note. Do bullet points here render weird and excerpt? They do, but I didn't want to deal with that right now, and I don't want to call that out in the commit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this one with an S. And then I'm going to say no to this comment, and then I'm going to say yes to this more. Now it's going to ask me about another excerpt separator. I want this one, so yes. Oh, okay. So one of the things I really like about patch adding is that it calls out white space, right? So right here, it's very clear. There's some white space. It's a bright red, and I know it's there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this commit. So it's going to open up this commit. I'm going to go to the end of the line. I'm going to remove that white space and I'm going to save this. This isn't going to change anything that exists locally on my machine. What it's going to change is what's added to the commit. All right, let me expand this section here so we can get a look at what's going on. All right, so this one's not ready to go, so I'm going to say no. And now I've got my commit. Let me go ahead and push this up and let's take a look at that commit in GitHub. So here we have the git commit, add excerpts and patch add blog post. Now we can take a look through here. Here's my excerpt change in the config. Here's my changes here. As you can see, I don't have my comment here. Here's my changes for this blog post. And as you can see, I don't have my extra white space at the end. This is the untracked file that we added. You'll notice that we didn't really see this go by in our patch add, but then here it is in its entirety. And then these are the assets. 
this is a really small, easy to merge commit that's really focused on just two things. And I can do that really easily with git add dash p or git commit dash p when I'm patch adding in this way. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope I've convinced you to try out patch adding and that you'll stop using git add dot. If you have any thoughts or questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Bye.